Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Wednesday, December 9th, 2020. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. We've got some news from the Board of Education. They are looking into the 2021-2022 school year, and they want your opinion. They're trying to figure out whether we need to start before or after Labor Day, and as well as whether the Easter slash spring break should be six days as proposed or fewer. They do have a survey on the website. You can go to aacps.org, fill it out. It's fairly quick, and it is open through 4 p.m. on Friday, December 18th. It is open to parents. It's open to students. It's open to community members as well. So if you have an opinion on that, jump in there and take that quick survey. If you have an opinion on the start and stop times of the individual days, they're going to be arguing this again. The Board of Education is going to have a meeting on the 14th to discuss the start and stop times of individual days, but they will not be taking any public testimony that day. It will be the following week on December 21st. So if you want to get in on that conversation, sign up to speak. You'll be allotted two minutes and it is limited to 100 people. Okay, let's talk COVID. Yesterday afternoon, Governor Larry Hogan held another one of his press conferences, and this time it was to discuss the distribution of the vaccines, which are expected to hit Maryland as early as December 14th. Maryland will receive 155,000 initial vaccine doses, and that will be followed up by another 155,000 second vaccine doses. And that's a two-dose vaccine, so theoretically we should be able to vaccinate 155,000 people. The state is prioritizing those that get it, and the first dose will go to critical health care workers, followed by residents and staff of long-term care facilities and first responders. And the governor said that he and the lieutenant governor will be publicly vaccinated to instill confidence in the vaccine. The state is going to be undergoing a statewide vaccine confidence campaign to encourage Marylanders to make sure they get vaccinated when it becomes available for them. In yesterday's media call, County Executive Pittman was waiting for Governor Hogan to see what he was going to be doing yesterday afternoon. And he did say that additional restrictions are going to be coming to Anne Arundel County later on this week. He said it would be done likely in consort with the other eight large jurisdictions that surround us because he says that a larger geographic area has a better effect on it. And if the state won't react, I guess he is going to react. The places that he is looking at are gyms and indoor dining at this point, but everything is on the table. Speaking of indoor dining, this is some bad news from the Restaurant Association of Maryland. They peeled out the data from the National Restaurant Association's recent survey and found that Maryland restaurants are not doing nearly as well as the nation average. 45% of Maryland restaurant operators said it was unlikely that they would still be in business in six months if there are no additional federal relief packages. In the statement, Marshall Weston, who's the president of the Restaurant Association of Maryland, said the results from the National Restaurant Association Research Group are staggering, but sadly they are not shocking as we continue to see Maryland restaurants fight to stay alive. The time is now to support your local restaurants. Every day is critical to their survival. It really is. Yesterday, I did get word that 49 West, one of my favorite little cafes on West Street, will be closing temporarily. They did not give a reopening date, but they are going to close temporarily until we can get over the COVID hump. And last week, Southwest Airlines filed a WARN notice, and that's the work adjustment and retraining notification required by the state for anybody that has more than 100 employees. And they are intending to furlough 1,181 employees on March 15th of 2021. Now, they had already done 106 employees that are looking to be furloughed as early as January 25th. The airline does need federal aid on this, and these warn notices are not set in stone. This can be fewer employees. It cannot happen at all. But at this point, they're looking at potentially furloughing 1,181 of their employees based here at BWI. Currently, they employ about 4,500 employees here. So that's not good news for Southwest. Hopefully, the federal government will come through with a stimulus package for everybody. And finally, let's talk about some good news. The Maryland Higher Education Commission has announced that their Office of Student Financial Assistance doled out more than $88 million to 33,000 students to attend one of Maryland's colleges or universities. Do the math. That's $2,700 per person on average And these are the Educational Assistant Grants and the Guaranteed Access Grants. 
They're awarded to students with the greatest financial need. And Secretary James Fielder said that MHEC saw the need for financial aid exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic. These state funds provide stability during these uncertain times and offer greater access to higher education. Out of those 33,000 awards, 3,344 of them received an award that covers 100% of their financial need, and the maximum award was $19,400. If you are not familiar with MHEC, which is the Maryland Higher Education Commission, you need to be. They have so many different programs to help anybody that wants to get into higher education. If you are a high school sophomore looking to go into college when you get out of high school, you need to be there. If you are an adult that maybe started college and needs to go back, you need to be there. If you're in a community college and you're looking to go on to a four-year college, go to MHEC. We did sit down recently with Secretary Fielder to discuss this and all the other initiatives. They have more than $120 million to give away, so it's definitely worth your time to look at. Check out for the bonus podcast that dropped last week because there is no reason that COVID or finances should hold you back from your college dreams. All right, that does wrap it up for us today. Please make sure you're checking out ionanapolis.net throughout the day for updates to these stories and more. If you are someplace you can leave us a rating or a review, please do that. And make sure your friends and family and colleagues all know how to get a hold of us. I know it's a little bit far in advance, but just a little bit of a heads up, we will not be producing a daily news brief on the 24th or 25th of December, nor will we be doing it on the 31st or the 1st. We're going to make them long weekends. Okay, so now you just need to hang tight. We have George Young standing by with your local DC MDVA weather forecast. He's coming up in just one minute, but here is a quick one from Solar Energy Services. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services, with your Clean Energy Minute. Does your home experience power outages? Or maybe you're concerned about energy resilience in general. If so, that's another great reason to consider clean, quiet, solar-powered energy with battery backup. You may have heard residential solar adoption has rapidly increased during the pandemic for multiple reasons. And many homeowners, like yourself, are adding battery backup and electric vehicle charging to their solar projects. And with Mary Maryland's Residential Energy Storage Income Tax Credit, along with the federal tax credit for batteries when paired with solar, the economics are quite compelling, and that secure feeling is even better. So whether you're looking for clean energy, energy resilience, or overall peace of mind with solar energy, we can help. To schedule a free solar design, call us today at 410-923-6090 or on the web at solarsaves.net. But hurry, sunshine's a-wasting. Sunshine, sunshine. Nothing else can make me feel so fine. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DC MDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DC MDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DC MDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Wednesday, December 9th. Yesterday was another cold, breezy day for the Annapolis region. And while today will still be chilly, out with highs in the mid to upper 40s for most, it'll be a step in the right direction, leading into a nice day on Thursday with tons of sunshine and highs in the 50s with light winds to be followed by more 50s Friday with more sunshine before clouds then roll into the area Saturday as highs warm up even more toward the 60 degree mark ahead of some light showers maybe late Saturday into early Sunday morning before skies then clear again for some sunshine to close out the weekend with highs again near 60 degrees. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DC MD VA Weather. Make it a great day out there. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to get our free app on all of your devices by searching DC MD VA Weather in the Apple or Google App Store. And also follow us on Facebook and Twitter and use our website each day at dcmdvaweather.com so you can always stay weather-informed. Another moving moment from Christy Neidhart of the Christy Neidhart team from Northrop Realty, a long and foster company. Hi, I'm Christy Neidhart. My team and I often get asked, is now a good time to make a move? The answer is absolutely. With interest rates the lowest they've been in nearly 50 years and inventory in high demand, now is the time to let us earn your trust. 
Whether you're looking to relocate, downsize, or find the home of your dreams, my team and I will guide you through the process and find exactly what you are looking for. Serving people is a passion of mine, and it's what my team does best. That's the Neidhart difference. That's another moving moment from Christy Neidhart. To get in touch, call 410-295-6579 or visit kn-team.com. That's kn-team.com. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, IonAnnapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at IonAnnapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.